Hi and welcome to my channel. Sometimes it can be good to know what is happening in front of your hide so that you know what animals there are when you are not there. In this movie I will show you how I use Reolink and if you find it interesting you can see the link to the homepage in the description. Hi, today we are going to unpack a remote camera and set it up in a forest where I have a lot of birds of prey. Here you can see an example of the movie that is taken with this remote camera. And uh, just this film is taken to my telephone. So, and from the telephone I'm exported in. It's very easy to set up the camera. But before you go out in the forest, you had to buy a data traffic card and put it in the camera. If you want to uh, record directly to your camera, you had to buy a micro SD card. And in our two cameras we have, we have uh, put on 128 gigabyte. In your telephone you had to download an app called Reolink and from this app you can manage your camera. I will show you a screen from the telephone later in this movie. But uh, for an example you can turn off or on the peer. You can uh, get push message when something happened and you can see the battery status. But I will show it later. Hi and welcome to this channel. Today we are going to unpack this thing from Reolink. And we need a knife. It's, it's a uh, camera where you can uh, use your telephone to remotely control it. And you can start recording from your mobile phone. It's also a camera where you can um, uh, have a sensor so it start recording by itself. But in this case I will use it as, as uh, only for the telephone so I can remotely start with it. We have already one up, uh, set up of it in an osprey nest and it was very good so now we will see how it performs. So they send me a new camera and uh, I will unpack it but I, I don't unpack it as usual. I just open it and show you what's in it and then we are going out to uh, the birds where we are going to set it up and it's birds of prey. I was... I know... Oh Jesus! We opened it. To see. It's uh, actually one camera and uh, it's uh, one solar panel and the one we had uh, uh, set up already, we set it up in March, so it's uh, over six months ago and uh, it works still <coughs> just with a solar panel. Here you can see it. And then we are going to open the camera also. <coughs> and here you can see the camera. So here is the instruction. Download the Reolink app for the iPhone or for uh, another telephone and then you only had to buy a small SIM card for the data traffic. So now when I have opened it, the solar panel and the camera, we will go out in the forest and try to take uh, some movies of uh, birds of prey. It looks like this and here's
it's good it's good it's really good so let us go out and uh, put it up in the forest here i have a, ba a water bath and i will put up the camera here and i have put off the motion sensor so i will only look at my telephone and then i can record from the telephone i will put it near the water bath and um, in the spring i will put it on a osprey nest but i will see how it works here so now i will uh, put the camera here so i can uh, film the birds and here i have the solar panel so i will fetch them and uh, set them up i have only put up some roof here just to protect a little bit because they, they can manage to be outside even if it rain but uh, i will have it anyway i have only to connect the solar panel into the camera but just now i'm uh, power it up and i have uh, looked in my telephone and see that it's gonna be okay so now i'm going to uh, put out some food i'm going to charge it and power it up so let's hope it will be good i have already ravens here and uh, actually a red, red kite also circling around and i was surprised there comes a um, white tailed eagle over there but Sorry, I was out, so uh, it uh, passed away. But now I will go home and take coffee and look in my telephone and see if the birds are coming down. First of all, you had to download the RioLink app to your mobile phone and then you can start it and uh, it tries directly to connect to your camera. You can choose if you have more than one camera, you can choose another camera. But in this case, I have uh, connect to my camera 0 0.1 and you can zoom with your fingers as usual. First of all, we shall see the camera settings and uh, we are loading them in. And here are the settings. And as you can see, the battery is uh, charging and uh, we shall uh, look at the other settings here. First of all, we shall look at the screen uh, settings and you can uh, turn it vertical, uh, you can turn it horizontally, the quality the anti-flimmer day and night and you can choose which scene you want inside or outside we start with the quality and here you can see that if it's high clarity for day for example and low clarity for night for example and here is the resolution and you can see the frame rate also and uh, usually i always use these settings 
and then uh, we go back we scroll down and here you can see that we can take away the camera name the datum and the watermark and uh, it's just go in in the different uh, settings and take it away as you can see here you can choose yum in swedish that's hide and if you choose that the camera name will disappear from the the movie you can do the same with the datum and the watermark and you can even get the security mask that uh, you can put some pictures on that you won't uh, see in the in the movie now we are back and here you can see uh, the peer uh, settings that's passive infrared and you can choose to record you can a push message email and alarm and then you can share the camera with others and then we have advanced also in the ps settings you can choose to have it on or off and you can even set the sensitivity of that uh, settings you can uh, choose to record when something happens or you can turn it off in the push messenger you can uh, turn it on or you can turn it off if you have it on you will get the notification when the peer recognizes something here you can see an example of a push message and you can also have critical warnings and that is when the, for example the battery is going to end if you want to share your camera with others you can do that also by sending this qr code to the one that you want to share it with you can also choose to do time lapse and it's here under advanced you can uh, choose to make a password for the camera you can uh, set the date and time and you can choose if you want to record sounds in your movies then you have uh, the infrared uh, lightning choose can set it to automatic or others and you can restart the camera good luck with your camera